So this was the three of you working on this along with your teacher? Yeah, so the three of us have been working on it since May of 2021. Wow. Great job. How did you end up securing your funding? So as a part of the competition, there are two phases. The first phase, you enter an abstract of your idea. So we gave just the general, here's the issue, Parkinson's disease is an, a problem in treatment. It's hard to find because it's a chronic condition. And this is a way we can go about solving it of having some sort of virtual physical therapy for them. And so by submitting that abstract, then 20 teams are selected to move on to phase two, which we were selected, and then we received a $1,000 grant to develop our app. And so we used this money for an Oculus headset, we bought a VIRF hand tracking system, which is how we can have the controller free. And did we talk anything else? Um, I think that was basically it. But then we had that money to use to develop our app. Can you tell us a little bit more about what your school day looks like? How much of what you presented to us today was done in class versus outside of class and after school? Yeah, so we each had it, all three of us were in an independent study to work on this, which was really beneficial to allow us the full amount of time that should be committed to develop a project like this. And I think that's ultimately what brought us to the success of having first place at this competition, of having the time for school day. So uh, two of us had it during the same hour, and then one had it the hour prior, and we would work on it at lunch together. So the majority was done during the school day, and then we also would practice treatment presenting our presentation outside of school for a couple hours, especially the week leading up to the presentation. And a lot of the stuff did have to be done at school because of the system that we were working on because a lot of us didn't have unity at home, well, specifically Eliana who developed the app. <laughs>